Hello everyone, I am John Ramdean and this is Fight News Now Extra. Coming up, Robin Black and I will discuss some of the big stories making waves in mixed martial arts. A UFC and Strike Force veteran loses his life, a former Bellator champion finds a new home, a former UFC lightweight champion gets his black belt, and a Greg Jackson trained fighter hangs up the gloves. That's what's going on in the world of MMA, now we shed some light on the stories. Former WBC Muay Thai champion Shane Del Rosario passed away at the age of 30 after suffering a cardiac collapse two weeks ago. The UFC veteran spent his last days in hospital in Newport Beach, California, surrounded by close family and friends. The Colin Oyama trained fighter earned a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of California and finished his mixed martial arts career with a solid 11-2 record with eight wins coming by KO. All of us here at Fight Network send our condolences to everyone affected by this terrible loss. According to multiple sources, former Olympic wrestler Ben Askren has found a new fight promotion to call home. It seems that the Rufus Sport welterweight will be headed to the Singapore-based 1FC organization after signing what he calls a lucrative two-year six-fight deal. The former Bellator 170-pound champion remains undefeated and criticized UFC's president Dana White for not signing him. The news comes shortly after the announcement that the BJJ Brown Belt has joined the Evolve Fight Team in Singapore as the head instructor. One of the greatest lightweights to ever compete in mixed martial arts, Frankie Edgar, was recently promoted to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt by friend and coach Ricardo Almeida in a ceremony in New Jersey. The answer trains the grappling art alongside Jiu-Jitsu luminaries John Danaher, Hollis Gracie and the living legend Henzo Gracie in addition to the ADCC veteran Almeida. Edgar will coach opposite BJ Penn in the next installment of The Ultimate Fighter. And finally, UFC veteran Julie Kedzie has decided to retire from mixed martial arts competition following a split decision loss at Fight Night 33 in Australia. The 32-year-old Jackson Winklejohn trained fighter made a name for herself battling kickboxing star Gina Carano on Elite XC in 2007 and has since gone on to fight for Strike Force, Bodog and the UFC. Kedzie finished his career with a winning record. Now joined by Mr. Robin Black in terrible news, uh, Shane Del Rosario losing his life uh, two weeks ago, suffered that cardiac collapse, but we have to look back, a very exciting fighter. We saw 11-2 record, eight of those wins coming by knockout, uh, just a tragic loss for mixed martial arts. Yeah, man, it's a sad thing anytime somebody who's young and healthy and fit passes away, and, but you know, when they're in your office or wherever your workplace is, it affects you more, but when it's, you know, a firefighter or uh, somebody who works in the mines or an athlete lead who does something dangerous that affects all the people around them and you know you really see the effect it has on all these fighters because it scares them because they all do kind of a dangerous job and it really sad and you kind of hope his family and his friends are all right. Uh, on to a positive note, Ben Askren signing with 1FC. I think we talked about it here over the last number of weeks, especially when we heard that he was uh, going to coach at the Evolve team in Singapore. Uh, no surprises there. What I am surprised about is what type of challenges this guy is going to have in the 1FC organization. Phil Baroni has already started talking smack, and I think that's a fight that probably makes sense because you have a name brand guy in Phil Baroni, uh, and people need to see Ben Askren more. So yeah, I think it's as simple as, sure, make this fight happen because Bill Phil Baroni right now talking some smack on Twitter, trying to create some interest, uh, but are fans going to get uh, behind this fight? I don't know, man. And is Baroni's body ready to fight yeah. anybody yet? I mean, this guy's been through all of the wars. He's like one of those original pioneer guys. But, you know, this is the place to sign. Like, if you're not going to sign with the UFC right now, in, for my money, 1FC is the place to go. With Bellator, you're going to have a very hard time sort of completing a contract. And if they get the sense you're using them as a stepping stone, they don't want you anyways. And World Series of Fighting wants four or six fights and they have no UFC escape clause. So 1FC, you can go over there, you can make some nice money, see an, a new and interesting part of the world, you know, have some great new experiences, learn different aspects of the martial art and sign a little shorter of a contract. I think it's the place to sign. I think it's a great deal for him. For Ben Askren, is this the best move? He's already criticized UFC President Dana White. Do you anticipate that say he gets two or three victories, do you expect the UFC to come knocking? Or is it the type of thing that you know, you, you say bad things about Dana White, you will never fight for the UFC. Nah, you know, when you're good, they want you. And, uh, you know, six years or six fights or two years. Maybe you only get three or four fights in those two years, but two years is up and you're ready to go back over there. Smash some people. One FC is growing and it's not a bad idea either. The UFC wants to get into those Asian markets, become a star with your curly hair and your foul mouth over there and then they'll want you. I think it'll work out great for him. He's teaching over there. He's seeing a new part of the world. He's meeting awesome people and he's getting paid nice. Are you surprised that the UFC decided to not sign the 
form, former Olympic wrestler, considering the fact that he is undefeated, he does a good job of talking smack, and I think he would present some interesting challenges for George St. Pierre because you say, yeah, Johnny Hendricks was good, but I'm a better wrestler than Johnny Hendricks, and I promise that I will take George St. Pierre down to the ground. Yeah, you know what? This is He's the second sort of, you know, uh, fallout from that uh, competition between Bellator and the UFC. You know, Alvarez ended up losing a bunch of money and fighting somewhere he doesn't want to fight, and this guy ends up fighting in neither of them and being kind of thrown away by Bellator because they knew he was leaving anyways, devalued by Bellator, and then the UFC going, man, they're talking about giving him title shots and getting all these fans involved. Screw it. We don't want him for a year or two. He's he's really like, you know, was affected by that that uh, competition. Do, between do you think two. the whole Hector Lombard situation, considering he made so much money after leaving Bellator and going to the UFC, not successful in that debut, do you think that the UFC is like, wait, 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 wait. We kind of bought into the hype right now. No more of this stuff. Sure, we want Eddie Alvarez because he's super exciting. But when it comes to other champions, like if Alexander uh, Shlomenko decides, you know what, I'm done with Bellator. I'm going to the UFC for a big contract. Do you think the organization is going to say, yeah, I'll bring this guy on? Or no way, this isn't happening Maybe, but not for big money. Not anymore. But high five, Hector Lombard, man. You made out like a bandit and good for you, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. And, of course, he's going to be taking on Jake Shields as well in the welterweight division. Rory McDonald taking on Damian Maya. Uh, who do you like in those fights? Man, Maya has got to be a favorite right now. Rory's either going to destroy him or going to have to get back on sort of, you know, in the right direction. It's a, it's a really interesting one because if the old Rory, if the angry, ornery, psychotic Rory comes in, he can win the fight. Otherwise, Damian Maya might have that one. Still lots of uh, welterweight matchups to talk about in the future. Don't go anywhere. More fight news now. Extra is still to come.